The Smallest Turtle, written by Lindley Dodd, read to you by Miss Keating. Deep in a safe dark hole under the sand lay a nest of turtle eggs. One day they began to hatch. Soon there were dozens of baby turtles all wriggling together up through the sand and away. Except the smallest turtle, he was late. All by himself, he scrambled and scrambled up, up, up and out into the shimmering sun. He blinked at the brightness and inside his head he heard strange words. To the sea, to the sea. So away he went, skitter scatter, over a shiny grey rock and past a big black beetle, around a tree with twisty roots. Down a gravelly hole and up the other side where a sleepy lizard was dozing in the sun. Through some prickly grass where a spider was weaving a web and all the time his head said, to the sea, to the sea. The sun was burning down on the smallest turtle and it made him too hot and it muddled the words in his head. He began to go around and around in circles. He crept into the shade of a big green leaf to cool down and as he cooled, the words in his head slowly came back again, to the sea, to the sea. So on and on went the smallest turtle until at last he stopped to rest. He was getting very tired. Suddenly he heard something. It was the sound of waves crashing and hissing on the sand. The words in his head became stronger than ever. To the sea, to the sea. But there was danger. Gulls were wheeling and whirling up in the sky, looking with beady, greedy eyes for a baby turtle lunch. The smallest turtle didn't wait. Down the scorching sand, he scrabbled and skittered. Faster, faster away from the gulls, past the crabs, over the seaweed, over the shells, over the stones. And at last, he felt cool, cool water on his hot, tired, sandy body. And as he swam down, down, he knew, it's the sea, he sang, it's the sea.